Hello guys, this is Rithik from Ace the Clat and in this video, this is the second video on reading comprehension and in this video we would be talking about these things, alright. We would be looking at what makes a passage tough and why do question setters set traps and lastly traps that are set by question setters. We will explore what the question setters do to set traps. We will look at Bain options, the trap set in the questions and the trap set in selecting the passage and editing it is as well. Which means the question setters are really selective in selecting the passage and they do edit it as well. So if you are willing to spend 27-28 minutes with me on this topic, I promise to deliver some quality content and you will not regret this. Alright. Before that, if you like our channel, please do consider subscribing to our channel and if you like this video, then do press the like button as well. Let's get started. Okay, now I want you guys to think of this question, these two questions, alright. What makes a passage tough? The first one and the second one is why do question setters set traps? Now the, the, the answer to the first question is what makes a passage tough? tough the answer is or or let's say who makes a passage tough the answer is the question setters all right it is never and never the author who makes a passage tough uh, for instance the question setter you know sets sets uh, or selects the source of the passage which which may be a book from 1960s all right so so jab wo author अपना राइटिंग टेक्स्ट लिख रहा था ही वॉज नॉट थिंकिंग राइट कि कोई होगा जो 2021 में आकर के मेरा ये पैसेज उठाएगा एंड देन उस पर क्वेश्चन बनाएगा नो राइट है ना दैट इज नॉट द केस राइट सो 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 वॉट आई मीन टू से इज दैट ऑथर नेवर वॉन्ट्स यू गाइज टू 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 नॉट अंडरस्टैंड अ पैसेज दैट वुडेंट बी अ गुड ऑथर राइट इफ ही इज नॉट एबल टू मेक हिमसेल्फ और हर सेल्फ क्लियर to his readers then what is the point of writing that text right now one argument may be that when you when you take out an excerpt from a, from a book by by some particular author if you read that text you may find uh, it to be difficult to comprehend but but that is only an excerpt from the book right jab tum pure बुक को पढ़ोगे एंड देन उधर वो बीच में एक्सेप्ट आएगा तो मैं कॉन्टेक्स्ट मिलेगा समझने के लिए और राइट दैट इज एंड एंड हर एक ऑथर का अपना अपना पर्टिकुलर एक निश होता है अपना एक ऑडियंस होता है राइट सो इट मे सीम कि ऑथर ने पैसेज डिफिकल्ट लिखा है बट दैट इज नॉट द केस दैट वॉज रिटर्न फ्रॉम फ्रॉम अ पर्टिकुलर परस्पेक्टिव एंड एंड फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर सेट ऑफ पीपल एंड एंड for from a particular context right he gives you the con he or she gives you the context before before writing anything of that sort it is it is certainly the question setters who who set traps all right and so the next question is why do they set traps so there are two main reasons and those two are pretty obvious the first thing is to segregate people or segregate segregate aspirants That is all but part of a competitive examination, right? कि कॉप कौन टॉप थ्री में जाएगा कौन टॉप फाइव में जाएगा कौन टॉप सेवन में जाएगा कौन टॉप टेन में जाएगा कौन कौन किसी को कॉलेज नहीं मिलेगा है ना ये सेग्रीगेशन करना और क्वेश्चन सेटर्स का काम है राइट वो ऐसा क्वेश्चन नहीं बना सकते जो सब आंसर कर दे और राइट दैट वुड डिफीट द पर्पज यू कैन नॉट ब्लेम दिम because that is all but part of a competitive examination and if they if they make some question which each and every aspirant can answer then that would defeat the purpose of the competitive examination right so the first reason is pretty obvious that they want to segregate aspirants all right so this that is the first reason and the second one is characteristic of humans now what i mean by that is i have been there right in in the last couple of months or even before before the clad 2020 i sometimes used to make make certain questions for for myself to to you know to look from the perspective of the question setter all right so 
वॉट आई मीन इज दैट दैट अगर मैंने चार क्वेश्चन या पांच क्वेश्चन बनाया एक पैसेज पे एंड इफ यू इफ यू गेट यू नो सोट ऑफ ऑल करेक्ट ऑल राइट आई विल फील गुड फॉर यू बट दैट वुड बी अ वेरी शीपिश स्माइल ऑल राइट आई वुड फील गुड फॉर यू दैट आई डोंट हैव एनीथिंग अगेंस्ट यू गाइज बट बट डज दैट नॉट इन इन सम वेज रेज सम क्वेश्चन ऑन माई कॉम्पिटेंसी थिंक अबाउट द क्वेश्चन सेटर ऑफ कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशन who who has to you know sort of make people do mistakes or that is why all i'm saying is that is why they set traps all right that is the characteristic of humans if you get four correct that is good you get three correct that is awesome but if you get five correct all right and isliye tumne dekha hoga har ek passage mein ek question rehta hai jo problem deta hai ya fir shayad do rehte hain hai na so these are pretty much the primary reasons that that compel question setters set traps for the aspirants all right now let us move to the gist of this video which is talking about the traps all right so there are three kinds of traps as i said the first one can be set in the options the second one can be set in the questions and the third can be set in passages as well in this slide we will explore the main options all right the broad the alien the narrow and the extreme the meaning or the idea behind these words is pretty clear from from the words themselves all right broad matlab jitna author ne cover nahi kiya usse zyada aap ja ke kuch bol rahe ho we will talk about this in a practical way while we, when we solve solve these three questions all right okay so broad matlab jitna author ne bola hai usse zyada aap baat kar rahe ho to usse broad bolenge all right alien when when an option when we label an option as alien to the passage we mean that the passage has No, it is not present in the passage. All right. In some ways, you may also call them as irrelevant options. कि इस बारे में passage में बात ही नहीं की गई है. Right. Narrow. Now, when talking about narrow options, it is again clear from the word that that author is or the question setter has set a trap by covering too less of what the author has said. all right an extreme which means that the author again uh, it's kind of like when the author has not taken extreme st- stance uh, the question setter puts up or presents to you an extreme stance by the by the author in the option and then you know question setter ka kaam kya hai guys jaise maine bataya here is your evil question setter Okay. Here is your evil question setter. Right. He presents you four options A, B, C, and D, and you know, sort of entices you to mark. The, let's say that B is the correct option, but sort of entices you to mark these three options instead of B. All right. that is a job of the question setter and he does so by by trying to trap you guys by doing these four things all right he will he will make a broad option he will make an alien option which is not relevant to the passage not present in the passage narrow option bahut chhota sa area cover karna and extreme and and a very important point is here syllogisms would really i would say really help you all right club jab main sum keh raha hu yani jab jab main nahi jab author sum keh raha hai to mujhe as an aspirant ise dhyan rakhna hai sum a r b hai na se so, main all a r b can uh, uh, all a r b main usse infer nahi kar do theek hai all a r b se main 
सम ए आर भी तो कंक्लूड कर सकता हूँ लेकिन मैं सम ए आर नॉट भी कंक्लूड नहीं कर दूँ राइट डैट वुड बी नैरो है ना इसी तरह से सम से एंड नो से मैं सम आर कंक्लूड नहीं कर दूँ दिस वे सोलॉजिज्म ऑल्सो इन माई ओपिनियन प्ले एन प्ले अ वाइटल रोल वाइटल रोल ऑल राइट सो नाउ लेट एस लुक एट दीज ऑप्शन इन द प्रैक्टिकल वे Uh, a white screen is coming up so yeah okay this is a passage guys taken from the consortium's sample papers i don't remember the name of the sample or uh, number of the sample paper it was i think number 2 if i'm not wrong from 2020 number 2 nishad number 3 tha anyway let us read the passage all right it's a fairly simple passage to read and there are three questions 1 2 and 3 and uske options hai apne ko sahi option dhoondne right let us start reading a body to prepare a constitution was eventually formed as per the cabinet mission plan of 1946 a proposal that kept british india undivided grouped provinces according to their religious composition limited the federal government's role to national matters like foreign policy and left unresolved crucial matters like the position of the princely states okay kya samjha humne pehle uh pehle sentence se there is this cabinet mission plan and there is this body right a body was prepared or or a body was formed as per as per the cabinet mission plan right to prepare the constitution of india 1946 ki baat ho rahi hai obviously constitution of india ki baat ho rahi hai right and cabinet mission plan was a proposal that these that had these three characteristics that these three or four characteristics right it kept british india undivided grouped provinces right limited the federal government's role to select national matters like foreign policy and left unresolved crucial matters all right the muslim league now we are talking about the muslim league the muslim league boycotted the early sessions of the constituent assembly demanding the demand was two assemblies that would draft texts for two separate nations okay the muslim league boycotted the early sessions to because it was demanding two assemblies that would draft two texts or different texts for two separate nations in time the assembly acquired legal status under the indian independence act of 1947 which created two separate dominions india and pakistan right theek hai assembly acquired legal status matlab muslim league no the the constituent assembly acquired legal status right okay its deliberations lasted from december 1946 to november 1949 which means the constituent assembly worked from from in between these periods these two periods amid civil war between matlab us samay civil war bhi aayi right one of the largest migrations in human history one of the largest migrations in human history and the incorporation of nearly 600 princely states into the indian union cool समझ में आया अ बॉडी कैबिनेट मिशन प्लान के कुछ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स मुस्लिम लीग कॉन्स्टिट्यूंट असेंबली का टाइम पीरियड राइट एंड एंड द कंडीशन बिटवीन विच इट वर्कड और लाइट द बॉडी वॉज द बॉडी इन विच मीन्स दिस बॉडी और द कॉन्स्टिट्यूंट असेंबली वॉज इनडायरेक्टली बेस्ड ऑन द इलेक्शंस टू द टू द प्रोविंशियल लेजिस्लेचर्स इन नाइनटीन ओके इट वॉज indirectly elected okay indirectly elected based on their elections to the provincial legislatures in 1945 46 it is estimated that under these elections only around 1/4 or 1/5 of the adult population had been eligible to vote so ek to ye indirect elections tha right let me use the highlighter indirect election 
and only around one fourth or one fifth of the population were eligible of the adult population were eligible to vote it also included matlab si line pe baat hogi it also included nearly a uh, 100 representatives of the princely states chosen by way of a process of consultation yahan bhi election nahi hue and moreover again similar line pe baat hogi the creation of pakistan and exit of the muslim league left the indian national congress with an overwhelming majority okay the exit of muslim league left indian national congress or inc with a overwhelming majority good despite this however matlab ye sab hone ke baad bhi the body emerged as a remarkable forum for the articulation of intellectual disagreements and contrasting viewpoints okay the author is saying that is in sab ke hone ke baad bhi this body emerged as a remarkable forum jahan pe har tarah ki baatein ka agreements and disagreements hote rehte the all right that is the paragraph or the passage let us move to the questions which among the following can be inferred from the author's arguments in the passage above okay a says inference is simple right despite having an overwhelming majority in the constituent assembly the indian national congress did not prevent the articulation of opposing viewpoints while this can be inferred yahi pe likha hai na that the muslim league ke exit ke karan inc uh, got an overwhelming majority and despite all this the body emerged as a or despite all this the body did not or the inc did not prevent the articulation of opposing view points very easy option this is the correct one let us see why these are incorrect all right the inc used its overwhelming majority in the constituent assembly to suppress any opposing view points it is going extremely uh, against this right कि ये तो एकदम एक्सट्रीम चला गया ऑथर ने बोला कि हाँ बातें अग्रीमेंट्स डिसग्रीमेंट्स होते रहती थी लेकिन ये तो बोल रहा है कि कांग्रेस डिड नॉट यू नो सोट ऑफ एंटरटेन एनी अपोजिंग व्यू पॉइंट्स दैट इज एन एक्सट्रीम ऑप्शन राइट द रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ सी से द रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ द प्रिंसली स्टेट्स इन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूट असेंबली frequently disrupted the assembly's proceedings well this is an alien option or not relevant right why this is kyunki princely states ke bare mein bas itna hi kaha gaya hai ki wahan se kuch log aaye the assembly mein right wahan ke kuch logon ne frequently disrupt kiya meetings nothing right that that is why this is an alien option focus on why the answers are not correct right a option sahi hai apne ko pata hai and d says the exit of the muslim league ensured that the only voice is going to bro to uh, narrow right that the only voice in the constituent assembly constituent assembly was that of the indian national congress well while that was not the case the body emerged as a remarkable forum pura answer yahi pe dependent hai से जो जिसने ये सेंटेंस ठीक से पढ़ा वो समझ जाएगा कि कौन सा ब्रॉड ऑप्शन है ब्रॉड तो नहीं दिखा पे कौन सा एक्सट्रीम है कौन सा एलियन है कौन सा नैरो है राइट लेट इज मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इफ द ऑथर्स आर्ग्यूमेंट्स इन द पैसेज अब आर ट्रू विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज ऑल्सो लाइकली टू बी ट्रू ओके द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एज ड्राफ्टेड बाई द कॉन्स्टिट्यूंट असेंबली डज नॉट रिप्रेजेंट does not represent the viewpoints of the inc well this is is this not going to kind of extreme again dhar bola gaya hai inc ne uh apne against jo bhi viewpoints aate the usse entertain kiya right lekin aisa to nahi hai na ki uske koi bhi uske khud ke koi bhi viewpoints uh, represent nahi karta constituent assembly that is not the case right so A is not correct, and why is it not correct? Because it is an extreme option. B again says that the constitution, as drafted, uh, yeah, yeah, largely represents the viewpoints of the princely states alone. Again, this is going too narrow, right? Hena, I hope you understand this, guys. 
C says the constitution as adopted by the constituent assembly is not representative of a variety of a viewpoints. This is going completely against the author's contention. Author would, you know, sort of say, what are you doing now? How much have you done? And D says, these, they should be correct, that the constitution is representative of a variety of viewpoints. All right, let us move to the next question. Again, we have seen that it was narrow, it was extreme. If you put it to the place of Bain, see, miscellaneous options will remain, right? Because again, as I said, ki, that, the, that the question setter would use his creativity, right? You can place it to Bain, right? I hope you get this. Three says, question number three says, which among the following accurately explains why the Muslim League decided to boycott the early sessions of the Constitu Constituent Assembly? The answer is, I think, B. Uh... Yeah, it should be B. I'm not checked it, but it should be B. All right, it should it should be B. Uh -huh. They felt that Indian Cong National Congress was biased in favor of the Muslim sub country. Again, alien Muslim populations ke baare mein baat hi nahi kiye ki gaye country ke baare mein country mein country ke Muslim populations ke baare mein. Right. C says they felt that the Constituent Assembly only. Again, this is going to be too narrow, right? जब तुम क्वेश्चंस सॉल्व करो आई ट्राई कर ट्राई टू आइडेंटिफाई दीज पॉइंट्स राइट कि कौन सा एलियन है कौन सा नैरो है कौन सा थोड़ा एक्सट्रीम जा रहा है कौन सा ब्रॉड जा रहा है राइट डी सेज दे फेल दैट दे वुड बी एबल टू ड्राफ्ट अ बेटर टेक्स्ट फॉर इंडिया दैन द मेम्बर्स ऑफ द आई एन सी नाउ दिस इज गोइंग टू ब्रॉड आई थिंक राइट दिस सेट दैट दे डिमांडेड टू सेपरेट Assemblies for two separate nations, but ये बोलना कि वो India के लिए इन्हें से बेहतर और INC से बेहतर text बना देंगे that would go too broad. All right, I hope you get this, guys. Broad, alien, narrow, extreme. तीनों options आए हमारे सामने. I hope you get this. Now traps set in the questions. The three, the तीन तरह के traps, right? Options, questions, and passages. Trap set in the questions. It's a simple trap, but look at the question. All right, this. Let us look at the question stem itself. It says that which of the following most accurately expresses the main conclusion of the economist's argument? I was solving the LSAT questions. Okay, so I saw this. And it says that it most accurately expresses the main conclusion. This means that it is not the most weakened. If you have two weakened, you have to select the most weakened. Right? So, in the main conclusion, I was confused in E and B. 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 And I think B option is right after that. E is also a conclusion. You can definitely uh, conclude that. But B is the main conclusion. That one sentence which sums up the entire passage or the paragraph. Right. So question setter is the way traps we use. Karte All right. Main conclusion. That means there will be two conclusions. Then there will be four conclusions. And one main conclusion is right. the main conclusion. Hai, wo, वो क्वेश्चन सेट करना बहुत ही ज़्यादा डिफिकल्ट है, but that can also happen and most weak and most strengthened. Then there are negatives that 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 the question setters use it. I sometimes use as well. Right? Which of the following does not represent the main idea of the passage or does not main idea तो एक ही होते हैं. Which of the following does not represent a supporting idea of the passage? तो does not जिसने नहीं पढ़ा उसके marks कट गए, right? फिर हो गया which of the following does not strengthen the argument of the author? So in this way the question setter trap you in the questions. Now let us talk about the passages. What what they do is I I saw one passage for the consortium itself. It was a Banyan passage from Economist से उठाया था article. तो उसमें क्या करते हैं वो लोग? कंक्लूजन दिया है, राइट? लेकिन प्रेमाइज गायब कर देते हैं, या फिर प्रेमाइज देते हैं, कंक्लूजन गायब कर देते हैं। 
और पूछेंगे कि दीज आइडियाज दीज आइडियाज पॉइंट टू विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कंक्लूजन या फिर अगर प्रेमाइस uh, नहीं दिया तो फिर बोलेंगे कि विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कैन समोट सपोर्ट दिस कंक्लूजन ऑल राइट इस तरह के ट्रैप्स भी पैसेज में एडिट्स करके क्वेश्चन सेटस सेट करते हैं ट्रैप राइट समटाइम्स वॉट डी डू इज दिट टेक आउट एन एक्सेप्ट फ्रॉम फ्रॉम अ बुक नो दैट वॉट दैट दज इज जो जो कैंडिडेट्स हैं उन्हें पता नहीं होता कि कहाँ से आने वाला है पैसेज राइट इट कैन बी फ्रॉम एनी सोर्स सो जैसे जैसे फिजिक्स का स्टूडेंट इकोनॉमिक्स धीरे पढ़ेगा राइट तो जैसे क्लैट का स्टूडेंट को आप पुराने जाके फिलोसफी का पैसेज उठा दोगे तो देर इज ऑल्सो अ ट्रैप राइट देर इज अ ट्रैप कि वो क्वेश्चन सेटर वो पैसेज उठाया इसीलिए है कि कम बच्चे इसे अटैम्प्ट कर पाए या फिर कम बच्चे इसे सही तरीके से अटैम्प्ट कर पाए ऑल राइट सो दीज आर द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रैप्स दैट वी सॉ इन दिस वीडियो योर टेक अवे शुड बी दैट दैट यू नो क्वेश्चन सेटर इज अूमन बींग एंड आई शुड समटाइम्स रेस्पेक्ट बाय बाय नॉट अटैम्प्टिंग हिज और हर क्वेश्चन ऑल राइट जहाँ पे कन्फ्यूजन ज़्यादा हो राइट कुछ फॉर एग्जाम्पल दो तीन मिनट निकल गए हैं क्वेश्चन पे इट इज ऑलमोस्ट ऑलवेज अ गुड आइडिया टू नॉट अटैम्प्ट दैट क्वेश्चन उससे तुम पॉइंट टू फाइव मार्क्स बच्चा रहे होते हो ज़्यादातर समय और राइट अगर बहुत ज़्यादा कम अटैम्प्ट हो तो फिर अलग बात है राइट बट अ जनरल एस्पिरेंट की तरफ से मैं जो बता रहा हूँ कि इट इज़ समटाइम्स रिकमेंडेड टू नॉट अटैम्प्ट फ्यू क्वेश्चन समटाइम्स तुम्हें खुद आइडेंटिफाई करना है कि वन टू थ्री फोर में अच्छा ये क्वेश्चन है जो ऑथर क्वेश्चन सेटर चाहता है कि मैं फर्स्ट जाऊं मैं काम करता हूं मैं अटैम्प्ट ही नहीं करूंगा कम से कम मेरे पॉइंट टू फाइव मार्क्स तो बचे सो दैट वाज माय पर्सपेक्टिव ऑन द ट्रैप्स दैट आर सेट बाय द क्वेश्चन सेटर्स गाइस थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो कम्प्लीटली देर इज इफ यू चेक डिस्क्रिप्शन देर इज लिंक टू द स्प्रेड शीट एंड टू द नोट्स एज वेल नोट्स ऑफ दिस वीडियो नोट्स ऑन द वीडियो ऑफ traps set by question setter right if you need or if you want access to them click on that link request access and i will give you the access within a few hours or sometimes earlier as well in the next video i would be talking about the strategy to prepare for reading comprehension so stay tuned this is rithik signing off thank you guys i will see you in the next one bye